Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf outside today on the driving range at Les Bolstead Golf Course with Jake Montgomery. Jake is a master club fitter at our Minneapolis store, which is just right down the street. And it's going to be a fun one today, Jake, because, yeah. um, you know, we brought out a ping eye crossover today, um, kind of with the intention of just showing golfers the the adjustable hosel on here. Yeah. And that's basically, it's kind of like the driver mm -hmm. adjustable hosel, basically the same thing. Um, so that was the intention. But then, you know, we hit a few shots after yeah. and you were kind of impressed. So this yeah. is... I, I'll kind of let you explain what we're gonna what we're gonna do with this video now. Yeah, so I hit a few shots with this thing. I generally struggle with peak height on a driving iron. This was going pretty high for me, so I'm gonna go through a couple settings myself, kind of find where I'd want to play this and see what kind of numbers I can get out of it. Yeah, this is, uh, and I have one in the bag. So mm -hmm. now I have it at standard myself. Yep. Um, and it's at that you know 19 and a half degrees, um, which is great mm -hmm. for me. I got a three wood at 14 and a half, 19 yep. and a half, then I go to a 24 degree four iron. So mm -hmm. um, for gapping, it makes a lot of sense for me. And I love the way I can flight this thing however I yeah. want. Um, if I want to just swing way off the tee and mm -hmm. hit kind of a standard three iron flight, I can do that. Yeah. If I want to keep something low into the wind, I mm -hmm. can do that as well work it both ways so uh, this is one of my favorite clubs if not the number one club in my bag um, yeah. if i were to kind of pick one that i had to keep for mm -hmm. the next 20 years um and so i'm excited to see what happens with this because yeah, uh, and i know in the past too i've heard from fitters the eye crossover really among good. utility irons is you know up there mm -hmm. with uh the best of them yeah. so uh, I guess where are we going to start today, given what we've got? You, you brought the fitting kind of components yes. with us today. So, so I'm going to start this in the standard setting. This is at 60 and a half degrees at a lie angle. Okay. It's a little more upright than a traditional driving iron might be, and then to set it stock loft. Okay. So we'll hit a couple shots there, get some parameters, and I'll adjust as I kind of see needed. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, this will be, be good. We've got a full swing launch monitor with us. Mm -hmm. We're just going to kind of let things roll here, and, and we'll let you kind of fit yourself almost. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so Jake, mm -hmm. you mentioned that you've played utility iron in the past. Mm -hmm. Now you got a seven wood, yep. um, but what kind of numbers would you be looking for to put one back in So the bag? main thing for me is carry and peak height. I want to make sure I can get this thing high enough to stop it. Okay. I'd say I want to get this at least above 90 feet in the air, carrying around 225, 230. Okay. Ideally spin rate 4,000 or above, but really just want to see it get high. Okay, okay, yeah, you're looking for something because that's the thing with your seven wood right mm -hmm. now is you can land it when you- 100%, you know, but, I can land the thing and stop pretty yeah. well. But with that, you can't also hit something low flighted no. if you want to, which with this, mm -hmm. maybe you could do both. Yeah. And so. on a windy day, that seven wood, if you're into the wind, you don't really stand a chance. Right, right, okay. All right, so yeah, I've, we're, we've got full swing ready here. Mm -hmm. We got it, I'm, I'm curious to see what happens here. Let's just yeah. hit a few to start and then I'll let you kind of take it from there. That felt pretty good. This little cut there. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Right off the bat, you're kind of we're getting some things taken care of here. That's a, that was a lot of spin on that yeah. one. Now, granted, you hit a you had a nice big cut there, mm -hmm. so that was 5,800 on the spin. Yeah. So it's a lot of spin. Yeah. Now, granted, these are well, they're they're good quality range balls, mm -hmm. but they are range balls, yeah. so they might not be perfect on the spin numbers. Mm -hmm. But uh, so the carry was 212 okay. uh, because of that the, the peak height was 109. So All you right. have I you're, love you're, that. you're getting plenty high. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that part's a concern at this no. point. Now, granted, we can hit a couple more and mm -hmm. see how things turn out here, but... Yeah, I think I'll hit one more. If the spin remains, I think I will set it one degree up and then one degree strong. That was better. Yeah, that was better. So, 219 on the carry. Yep. It's 92 feet in the air that time. Yeah. Spin rate at 4,800. So yeah. that's a little bit closer to kind of what you're what you're looking mm -hmm. for. I still, it does appear though, you're still looking for a little bit more distance out of it. Yes, right? for sure. Um, I'd be okay losing a little more spin, getting a little bit more distance out of this club. I understand I'm not able to just rip this thing back on a green. Yeah. Um, I definitely want to have a lower spin rate for those kind of tee shots. As okay. Well. All right, I'm gonna knock this thing out, knock this thing down one degree in loft. Okay. So with that setting, mm -hmm. what I guess would you? what is the setting called or what would you yeah so like walk us through you that do. how you're going to do that absolutely so in its standard setting it is at one and a half up okay so i am going to set it to the minus one one up so it's actually going down a half degree in the line okay. angle but we're going stronger and loft by one degree okay big honk right in your backswing yep kind of just a little toe ball there probably a lower in spin lower in height for sure that yep. one did not go as high uh, 4,800 spin still. Yeah. So 71 feet on that one, you just miss hit it a yeah. little bit. But I mean, it is interesting though that the spin is still kind of staying up with mm -hmm. this club. It's definitely a higher launching utility iron than those. 100 spinning. I believe Marty Jertson said that this kind of falls right in between your typical iron and a hybrid as far as the height and the spin yeah. goes. It's a great middle club. 
Oh, see, that one was, was pretty good. good. Yeah. Still a little cut on there. Yeah, it's a little bit lower, too. I'm curious mm -hmm. about the numbers on this one because it was still had speed. that flighted ball flight. Okay, 216 for the carry. Yep. 80 feet for a peak height there. So it's still okay. lower. Yep. Spin was 4,600. Mm -hmm. So a little bit lower on the spin. Yeah. Um, let's maybe hit a couple more with that setting mm -hmm. just because I'm curious. Like, I wanted to sort of begin to get lower a little bit in that and in, in some of those numbers here see if we if see here. if this is making that much of an impact or I'm trying to get a bit more of a draw out of this Ooh, see that one's hit pretty well too yeah that, that was one's a lot much higher. higher yep faster ball speed definitely uh 221, 221 carry. carry okay 87 feet there mm -hmm. all right that's more in line with kind of where that I'd number want this. right there four iron carries around 205 210 okay so that would gap pretty well okay okay so what are you thinking right now you want you're, you're looking for kind of some more sort of uh you know more evidence so to speak mm -hmm. more support for that setting i guess is what you're looking for probably i would say i like what i'm seeing so far and that i'm getting a little more distance a little more ball speed spin is a bit more under control i'm going to knock it down one and a half degrees okay. see if i can really get it going out there okay because we didn't lose much peak height taking that loft down, which I yeah. like to see. If I can just generate more ball speed and get the ball out there further, yeah, be perfect. So this is going, the loft is going down. You going went, down you took, one You already took it down one degree. Now you're yep. going to take a one and a half. Yeah. All right. So that last shot is, if you remember, we mm -hmm. had a, you're kind of the best one so far, I yep. thought. 221 carry, 4,700 uh -huh. spin, 87 feet for the peak height. Yeah. And then for what it's worth, the total was 234. All right. All right, seeing a little more draw come out. Flight's definitely getting lower. Yep, that's probably going to happen. Yep, so that peak height was 56. Right. Total this is 235. It's been down to just over 4,000 this time. Yeah. But the carry was 207. That height worries me a little bit. I think yep. we might have gone a little too far. I'm going to hit one more. Yeah. It kind of a trap almost Left hooked there. there. Yeah. yeah, it's just not getting up in the air either. Okay, yep. So that one was 75 feet. Okay, so... Yeah. So you, we've discovered that going down in loft one and a mm -hmm. half degrees is probably too low for yeah, you. Yeah, I can't get the saying? ball up enough. Okay, okay. So what now are you gonna? What I'm gonna go here? back to that setting we're at before, just kind of okay. reconfirm. But I yep. think that minus one degree loft and then in the one upright setting is the best okay. spot for me. Okay. So now we're going back to the second setting that you yep. were hitting from. Just looking and to reconfirm one here. Is, so it's it's upright one degree. <clears throat> it's upright one degree and then and the minus one is, for the loft. Is down a one. Okay. Which I believe with that club, it's a standard at 19 and a half, I think. Yeah. And so now you're down to 18 and a half for the, mm -hmm. for the loft. That was pretty good. Yep. I think that is one of the better ones today. Uh-huh. Yeah, fastest ball speed of the day. Yep, 220 carry. carry. Yep. Got 77 for the height, so yeah. a little, still a little low. Yeah, I didn't quite have as much cut I on I know that, you weren't, but... You, I mean, the last one, one of those last ones you hit was 56 on yeah. the height. So, and I know you're not, to a point, you don't want it to be like 105 no. or 110 no. feet because you're still, that's kind of what you get with the 7 mm -hmm. wood. Right. So, are we, are we kind of getting in that window of what you were? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of about for? where I expected to. Like I yeah. said, I'm a lower launcher of the golf ball. This isn't going to be something I'm going to try and hit way high in the air and attack yeah. greens. This is more so for that windy day where I need to take that wind on. Or just a great option off the tee if I yeah. just need to hit it about 240 out there. Yeah, yeah, you're hitting this club really well. I mean, this that one was 238. Mm -hmm. Let me hit one more here, but I think we found our setting. Yeah, I think this is it. Now I feel pretty good. Yeah, there's maybe a hair low on the face, a little more spin. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah. still, it's still over 212. Yeah. yeah, if that's your miss, I mean, that's oh, yeah, a, I'll that's take a good that all ball, day long. right? I mean, it's probably eight yards short of where you would your target would be i guess yeah. carry wise but mm -hmm. you're still out there where you need to be okay so yeah. let's kind of reconfirm what shaft by the way is that one in this too? is should... the kylie white 80 okay. yard stiff flex okay okay so, I'd, I'd like a stiff in this just because again it'll help me launch the ball just yeah. a little bit higher yeah yeah okay so and then we we saw it too i mean mm -hmm. the launch and the spin and everything here was still really good yeah absolutely uh, so the setting to confirm mm -hmm. we found is Minus one degree start, for the yeah. loft, and then one degree upright setting on the hosel. Okay, that's uh, and that's going to be potentially in, in the bag for yeah, Jake. Monk I think it's a good chance. Year, yeah, ping eye crossover. I've yeah. got one, and I will endorse it. Um, and it's really cool that you can so quickly and easily change the settings on yeah. an iron, a utility Absolutely. iron. 
Um, I know that's a more relatively more recent, um, I guess, technology in golf in the mm -hmm. last couple of years. So Ping Eye Crossover fitting from Jake for yep. himself. Uh, pretty good stuff here. So mm -hmm. if you're interested in a Ping Eye Crossover, they're really nice to have in the bag um, as someone who already has one. I think Jake would agree after mm -hmm. hitting some shots today. Go get fit for an eye crossover at Second Swing with anybody uh, from our staff of master club fitters. We'll get you dialed in and we have that weapon to have either off the tee or maybe attacking a long par five in for two. Sure. So Jake, thank you for, for showing us this. Thanks it's really me. cool.